Welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we can bind an event and the meeting together with WP Event Manager and our Zoom add-on. To do that, we need to go through like some simple steps. And why you want to do that actually? Sometimes you wanna create a online event which people can sign up for and and in addition to that, you want to host like a Zoom meeting for that online event. Since it's an online event, a Zoom meeting or an online Zoom conference would be like a better addiction to that event in general. So let me go ahead and explain it to you how we can do that in a like few simple steps. First, we're going to go ahead on our Zoom. We're going to click on add new meeting. So we'll be adding a new meeting for our event. So let's go and add a title for our meeting. Let's go and select a host for our meeting. So here you can also add a description, but as I'm demonstrating and I don't really have a demo data as of now, so I'm ignoring that. Let's add our start date. Let's set it to 4th of September. Let's add our start time. There we have our standard duration of 40 minutes, which is Zoom's free user limit. Like if you are a free user with Zoom, then you have like a 40 minute limit on all meeting and conferences. So I'm not gonna set a password for this meeting as we are going to get a password automatically um, i'm going to leave the settings as default as they are so if we come over here and hit publish to make our meeting live so we have published our meeting here now let's go to event manager click on add new so here we will add our new event to bind with our meeting so let's go ahead and add our event title here. Let's go and add a description. I have copied our demo data and I'm gonna paste it over here. You can always type of, you can always go ahead and type your own custom description or you can copy paste from our documents. So next, we're gonna scroll down here. So as we see, we have our selector for online event. Let's select it to yes. Let's select an event banner from here. Let's select this file. And here we have our registration email and URL. And let me type away my email address so I can receive registration at my mailbox. Here we have video URL. I'm not gonna go ahead and provide that since we don't have a really video for this event. So this is like creating an event, uh, basically. We have already shown that how you can do that. Like you can add an event from the WP admin panel, how you can do that. We have made a video about it. You feel free to go ahead and watch that for better explanation. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all details one by one. Start date, our end date. Let's select my time zone. Then we have our organizer. Let's we have our start time. We have our end time. So that's pretty much it. And if you ignore all of the above details and focus on over here, we have a new drop down called Zoom meeting. So in here we can actually select uh, which meeting to bind with this event. So if I click down here, as we had created a new meeting just like few minutes ago, the meeting for our event. So let me go ahead and select that meeting here. And we come over here and select a few more options such as categories and our event type. Conference. And let's go ahead and publish our event. So we have successfully now published our event. 
if we go ahead and click on this link so here we can see our event view in the front end side so this is the listing what it would look like if we have binded our uh, meeting with an event so there's our event title our event banner our event name and our description as well so if you are noticing already we have a new bit of information over here relative to our normal event details page so those are this table down here with our zoom meeting information and our countdown our meeting host details our timing time zone duration and stuff and then we have our meeting joining links over here so when we binded a meeting with the event in the backend over here right so what it did it actually took our meeting data and put it into two section on the event details page so one we have down here it says zoom meeting information we have our meeting title time time zone and duration and then we have an entire sidebar full of our meeting details such as the timer which is counting down when the meeting happens and we have our host details our start details like time and date we have our time zone we have our duration and our joining links so we can see like the start meeting and end meeting buttons here this is only visible to the admin otherwise to the public users it's only visible so this is like our administrative feature only and then we down here we have like our standard uh, meeting details such as date and time we have our location we have our event types event category at the bottom we have our organizer details and that's how our event details page looks when you bind a meeting with an event with wp event manager and wp event manager zoom and on hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you liked it a sub to the channel would be amazing too and i'll catch you in the next one